Hey, what's up? I'm Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and today in Toolkit, we're going to be taking a look at the Ubertooth One from Great Scott Gadgets. Stick around to get all the essential details. The Ubertooth One is an open source 2.4 GHz wireless development platform suitable for Bluetooth experimentation. It exists mainly because commercial Bluetooth monitoring equipment can be found for over $10,000, which is easily outside most of our budgets. So, the Ubertooth was designed to be an affordable platform that can be used for Bluetooth monitoring or for the development of new Bluetooth and wireless technologies. When you order from Hacker Warehouse, the Ubertooth One bundle comes with the Ubertooth One, a 2.4 GHz antenna, and this nifty 3D printing case. And by nifty, I mean priceless, as you no longer have to worry about the board getting damaged. The Ubertooth One follows the standard USB dongle form factor weighs in at just a few ounces, and measures 3.5 by 1 by 0.3 inches. The Ubertooth is able to capture and demodulate signals in the 2.4 GHz ISM band, with a narrow bandwidth of 1 MHz. This includes, but is not limited to, Bluetooth basic rate packets, BLE packets, and 802.11 FHSS. Some proprietary 2.4 devices may also be possible. As mentioned earlier, the Ubertooth One is open source hardware. Designed in KiCad, all the hardware specs, design files, and information can be found at the GitHub repo. The Ubertooth One comes ready to go. All you have to do is screw on the antenna and plug it into your machine. When you initially set up devices, it's good practice to flash the latest firmware onto the device. In the case of the Ubertooth One, it's fairly easy to get set up, as the source and binary are already available on the GitHub repo. First, grab the latest Ubertooth release from the GitHub repo. Then, extract the archive and change into the Ubertooth One firmware bin directory. Then, run the ubertooth-gfu command. The device will automatically enter DFU mode and flash the firmware. When done, you can return it to regular operating mode by running ubertooth-gfu-detach, or just unplug it and plug it back in. The antenna that comes with the Ubertooth One works fine for localized testing. If you need a different antenna, make sure you purchase one that has an RPSMA male connector. If you want to use an SMA antenna, you're going to need an adapter. As for resources, the Ubertooth wiki page on GitHub has plenty of starter information, from build guides to firmware to design files. Well, that's it for Toolkit Ubertooth One Edition. Leave us a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Once again, this is Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and until next time, remember, keep it between the laws.